Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to mark up uh, this letter. This is letter number five, Lady Susan Vernon to Mrs. Johnson. I'm going to show you how to mark this up on our Google Doc um, sheet. So uh, remember that you have to mark up the division, the broad division um, um, sections. Okay, so this is all one letter, letter five, right? So all of this is one division, okay? So I'm gonna do div n for number equals open quote five, close quote, type equals letter, open and close quote, okay? So this is the opening tag. Now at the bottom, I'm going to put the close tag always helpful to do that at the same time right just so that you remember because it always has to be both opened and closed or else it won't parse now for our purposes um, you know as long as we get halfway there I'll be able to pull it into the computer software program that I use to write XML and I can validate it all so that'll help me make it um, make it parse and accurate um, you know at a later date so so don't be stressed out about it right but you want to label um, and mark up each division with div n equals whatever the number is in quotes and type equals letter okay um, now this part here is the heading okay you'll notice that there is a uh, line break here okay if you want to put that in this is how you do it open bracket for the tag lb and then this is what's called an empty element you just put it doesn't have to be closed it's it closes itself so you put the backslash here and then you close it and what this will do is simply insert a line break wherever it appears becomes a line break okay um, here is like i said the head all of this is the heading okay so i'm going to label that head type equals sub okay, this is a subheading okay um, and then you want to close it okay so what this does is it labels everything inside of these tags head tags labels all of this as a heading okay um, if you don't want to put the line break in here that's fine if that's a little too complicated um, you know don't worry about it um, I can always go in and put those back later and what we'll be doing in the future is correcting this XML you know with the actual printed version of it um, the first edition of the printed version of it so um, so I'm anticipating this to be a little inaccurate right for instance in the original printed version um, this is not in caps it's in italics um, one of the reasons that it's in caps here is because I pulled it from Project Gutenberg and Project Gutenberg doesn't do um, at least very easily and very thoroughly um, things like italics and whatnot okay um, it's a it's meant to be sort of plain text even though it's in HTML so it could accommodate italics um, it, it the people who encoded it at the very beginning the people who transcribed it thought simpler is better so let's just put it all in caps um, when in fact it should be italicized okay um, for instance if we take a look at literature in context and we search for Lady Susan, which has my basic markup version of it, where I'll be putting all of yours um, in just, you know, at the end of the term, and we look at the actual page images, you can see what it actually looks like here. This is the first printed edition. So you can see we have a number with a period, and then we have the address information, Lady Susan Vernon to Mr. Vernon as part of the subtitle, okay? And that's not in italics, it's not in, in all caps, it's in italics, okay? We also have um, this drop cap and we've got capitalization here, okay? There are a few other things we might note, okay? Um, we're not gonna be trying to render everything as exactly as we see it here. For instance, this is a much smaller um, typeface, right? The date line is a much smaller, smaller typeface. Uh, but we're going to do our best to make it look like this so that when we read it online, okay, um, these parts basically correspond to the page, okay? Let me go back to our XML. Okay, so 
all of this now has been marked up. Now, one thing that you will notice is that this is all, this is in giant bold font. The computer does not care. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't understand formatting the way that we understand formatting with our eyes, okay? Everything has to be told to the computer. So the only thing that, that the computer will know when we load this into our database is that all of this information is called a subheading. Okay, if I wanted to make this an italics like the original printed version, okay, um, what I would do is this. If this is if this is what the, the text looked like, Lady Susan to Mrs. Johnson. Okay, so let's say this is what it actually looks like in the text instead. Okay. Um, the computer does not understand what this is, why it's in italics, okay? I've told it that this is a heading, okay? So it understands that now, but it doesn't understand that this is an italics, okay? So I have to tell it, highlighting, render, rend is the way you actually write it, sorry, <laughs> um, equals italic, okay? And then you put the end, tag around that. You put the close tag around that. So this, it's this right here that tells the computer that this is in italics, okay? Um, I don't have to have it in italics. In fact, the computer is totally agnostic about that. It doesn't, it won't make any any heads or tails of that because I'll copy and paste this into the, uh, the tool that I use and it, A, it doesn't render italics, right? Um, but it doesn't render italics because this code here, hi rend equals italic, that is what tells the computer that this is to be in italics, okay? It doesn't matter if I make it italics or not. It doesn't matter. The computer can't tell the difference, okay? At least for what we're doing here, our purposes, okay? All right. Um, this here is the, as part of the, um, the, the opener, okay? So I'm going to create an opener and I'm going to close that. Okay. But now remember, inside of this, we have a date line, okay? And inside the date line is a place name because that is the place name from which this letter is being written, okay? And now I'm just closing all of my other elements, okay? Every opener has got to have a date line. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to have a date, but it needs to have a date line, okay? and uh, otherwise it won't parse. So you always have to have inside the opener a, a date line, even if it's empty, okay? Now this particular letter doesn't have anything else in the opener. It doesn't have a salutation, right? My dearest brother, my dearest sister, uh, dear Sir Reginald de Courcy, right? It doesn't have any of that. Um, so we don't put it in, okay? But it does have a paragraph. So here's a paragraph beginning and here's the ending of the paragraph, okay? When we look at this, we see that it someone has hit enter here, okay, and started a new paragraph. So the computer doesn't know that that's a paragraph break. It doesn't have any meaning for that. It cannot assign meaning to that. We see the break and we understand that this is a paragraph. It's a break between ideas. The computer has to be told that, okay? So here I'm gonna tell it that this is a paragraph, okay, and here. I'm gonna tell it that this is a paragraph, okay? Remember to open and close your um, element tags. Okay? Now here is the closer, okay? Uh, and this actually has two parts to it. It's not broken down by different um, uh, lines, but this part, ever yours, is the salutation, and this part, S. Vernon, is the signature, okay? The whole thing is the closer, though, so I'm gonna label that as closer, and remember I'm gonna come and close my tag. Okay, now inside of this, this ever yours is the salutation. So we're gonna label that salute, okay? And we're gonna close it as well, okay? And then this part here is the signature. So it's signed S. Vernon. And then we're gonna close our signed element, okay? So you notice that I'm not 
um, adding anything. It doesn't matter if this is the text is formatted in a weird way. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to be copying and pasting because it's this formatting doesn't doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference to the computer. Um, it won't make any difference to the database either. When I put it into um, the database, it will only take into account these instructions. Okay, it's the only thing it will take into account. All right. Um, okay, let's do one more so that you can, uh, let's see, let's not do six because that's or organized in the same way. Um, okay, here's one. Here's letter seven. Okay, let's do this one so that you can see uh, just some of the features again. Okay. All right, so div n equals, what no, is this? It's seven, right? Type equals letter. Okay, and this is the head. Head type equals sub. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a line break here. You don't have to, but I, I'm i just going to try to get started on that. Um, Lady Susan. Okay. Now here's the opener. Okay. And the, the opener ends here. Okay. All right. Um, you don't have to hit enter there. It doesn't matter. The computer doesn't care. The only thing it's looking at is the beginning and ending of paragraphs. Okay. All right. So in here we have Dateline, as we saw before. This is part of the opener. Um, and we've got a place name. Remember that XML is case sensitive. Okay. So make sure that if I've given you a capital, right, in your tags, then make sure that you, um, that you use them. Okay. So place name Churchill. This one doesn't have a date, okay, but it does have a salutation. Okay, so that's how you create the opener, right, for a letter. Each of the parts of it has to be described in terms of what it is. Salute, a date line, a place name, an opener, a heading, because the computer cannot interpret that. Okay, we need to tell, we need to tell the database and the database app what it should do with these things, right? We have to basically describe everything about the letter, okay? All right, this is one super long uh, paragraph, right? <laughs> and then here's the closer and the salute. And the signature close the closer tag and close the div remember that it's the um, the slash the backslash at the beginning of the tag that is that indicates closing okay so um, this is the opening tag no 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 backslash and the closing tag see the backslash. Okay. This is how HTML works, right? Uh, this is how most other markup languages work. Okay. All right, um, so I'll show you one up here that has a date in it, okay, just in case you run across that. Okay, this is letter one, so you'll see here in the opener, oh look, and I missed my, my closing tag here, right? Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so you see the opener, right, is all here. Uh, and inside that opener, we've got a date line, which has a place name in it, Langford, and also a date, December. Okay? Salute, my dear brother. Um, and then we move into the paragraphs. Okay. Now, you might notice that in um, your letters, uh, let's see, I'll take a look at this one. Um, see how it just sort of starts here, okay? You have to be careful because uh, you want to be sure that you're marking out any salutation as a salutation, okay? Even if it doesn't look like it, according to the formatting, you have to use your brain nugget, okay, to tell that, that this is or is not um, a salutation, okay? For instance, my dear Alicia, okay? Even though it's all sort of mushed together, right? Like this, my dear mother, you must not expect Reginald, blah, 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 blah. Okay. This part here, my dear mother, that is the salutation. Okay, it's the address, you know, dear mother. 
right, to the rest of the letter, okay? This is the author of the letter speaking to um, her mother, okay? It's Catherine Vernon speaking to Lady de Courcy, and this is the salutation. So even though it's not set apart, okay, you need to be able to designate it as such, okay? And that means this becomes the paragraph itself, okay? All of that is the paragraph, but this is the opener. So I hope that helps. Um, I will be around, of course, to help you and um, always ask questions. You can also rely on your partners if you think that they will be able to help you with your, uh, you know, with your questions. Um, there is a lot more stuff that we can do with this XML. For instance, we could label all of the names as type equals fictional, okay? Um, and we could indicate in the um, letter information, right? All of this header information for the letter, we could indicate, um, we could tell the computer who's writing to whom, okay? So who's the recipient and who's the author. This can help us with things like social networking, um, all sorts of things. Edward Street is a place I could graph this on a map, but I can only do that if, uh, if I've told the computer that this is an address. Okay. and I've given it GIS coordinates. That's the only way we'll be able to map that. So there are lots of things we could do here. Okay, we could label all of the names, we could label um, all of the places, okay? Uh, we could add, um, we could make sure that everything fits with, and we will be doing this later, um, or I'll be doing it, make sure everything fits with the original page images, okay, that we see here, right? Um, or any other, you know, things we, we could, we can add in here. So see, for instance, here, this there um, is actually uh, supposed to be italicized, right? Um, let me see if I can find it right here, right? Uh, but if the world could know my motive there, they would honor me. So it was, it's technically supposed to be italicized, but because Project Gutenberg is basically plain text um, from inception, it doesn't really have a way to do this, so it does it by putting it in all caps, okay? And that's why uh, the text that we have in our um, XML uses caps, okay? It's, it's, uh, it's not an ideal solution for us, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll go through and change all of that stuff at the end if we need to, okay? So there's a lot more stuff that we can do with the XML. Um, I'm only giving you a very, very limited number of element tags that I want us to work with. Um, but if you are at all interested in learning more about this, let me know and I can give you some tasks, perhaps for extra credit, okay? For instance, Kent, you know, that's a, that's a place, an actual place that has a GIS coordinate that we can add in there, okay? Um, all right, so that is that. Let me know if you have questions. It should be very straightforward. The most important things you need to remember to do are the divs, right? The head types and closing, right? The openers, all of the openers and the parts inside of that. Label all the paragraphs. And remember to close them as well. And then make sure that you add all the closers and that you close out the div, okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions and have fun.